imagine being one of the some 80 business and professional women who founded the very first club of Sir Optimist International in 1921 in Oakland, California. Or picture meeting Suzanne Noel in Paris in 1924 when she started to spread the Sir Optimist spirit throughout Europe and Asia. In the following decades, thousands of women became Sir Optimists. More and more clubs work worldwide to improve the lives of women and children. And as the years passed, the organization grew and became more professional, more efficient. In the 90s, the first club was founded in Zug, my hometown. As a busy professional in a male-dominated environment, I missed the everyday contact with other women. A friend recommended me to the local Sir Optimist Club and in 1996 I became a member. But I found much more than friends in the club. Through the club's discussions and projects, I saw the need to engage and fight for women's rights. I held various positions at club, union and federation level and finally had the honor to be federation president from 2017 to 2019. For my biennium, I choose to concentrate on something close to my heart, women and women's rights. The idea was to launch an appeal while at the same time to make a statement. So I came up with a new slogan to motivate members we stand up for women. I'm proud to say that thanks to a decision at the Governor's meeting in 2019, my slogan for SIE will stay for eight years. And two other federations were so inspired by our motto, they asked for permission to use it too. During my biennium, my team and I expanded the Orange the World campaign activities throughout the federation to help end violence against women. Promoted advocacy to union level. Opened the GMs in Lucerne and Zagreb to all interested Sir Optimists. And prepared for the future by initiating the process of virtual development. One hundred years after the founding of the first club, there are now 72,000 Sir Optimists standing up for women. Because we are a global network with projects that have a sustainable impact at local, national and international levels. Because we have a voice at the UN, at the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe and at the European Women's Lobby. And there are many more benefits. Initially, my motivation to join our organization was a desire to meet other like-minded women. But eventually, I became committed to live and fight for our Sir Optimist values. Our causes have become a passion. And you know what? Thanks to Sir Optimist International, I've now gained true friends all over the world. Sir Optimist International, happy anniversary.